Are you ready? This guy is probably, well, we started uh, together at the Axis of Evil show. Do you remember the Axis of Evil show in Bahrain? Well, we, we were both very lucky to be chosen to share the stage with Maz Jabrani and uh, Ahmed Ahmed and all of those guys. And it's been a blast ever since. Um, this guy and I have shared the stage many times. But today I'm very, very proud indeed to, uh, to welcome on stage my fellow performer, Mr. Fahad al -Budiri. Thank you, DJ. Awesome, awesome, awesome crowd. How you doing, guys? Feeling good? Make some noise. All right, all right. This is awesome. This is awesome. So you guys went through the security gates, right? No problems, right? right? That's cool, that's cool. You know, I don't know about you, but the security guards, they confuse me. You know, they all have this, like, gesture of theirs, right? Their signature move, right? Some guy's like... And there was, there was this one guy who I thought was a little bit of a Beyonce fan, you know? Because he's like... I want to see you, bitch. I want to see you. Can't come in. Can't. <laughs> but yeah, you know, happy to be here in Bahrain. You know, this, uh, this is where I work. This is where I live. This is awesome. I love this, yeah. Shout out to you guys. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm, I'm glad I had to, you know, I drove here. I didn't have to fly. Because uh, last time I flew for a comedy show, I had a little bit of a, a freak out on the plane. I was flying from uh, Bahrain to Dubai, and uh, there was a lot of turbulence, you know? And I'm there gripping the thing, and I told the guy next to me, he looked good in purple for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> and it brings out the color in your eyes. It's, so, and the pilot, as soon as we got close to the airport, he did the whole welcome thing. So he, um, he went through the Arabic, no problems, you know? He got to the English part, he had a road bump. Welcome to Dubai International Airport. Time is 2.15 a.m. and the sun was up, so uh, that's when I realized, oh my God, he's drunk. <laughs> right? I mean, I've, you know, I'm not judging the guy, but couldn't you have been like high or something? Because that would have been a much more relaxing flight, you know? Like reggae music playing in the system. He comes on, he's like, ladies and gentlemen, no worries. It is only turbulence. We don't want to scare you now. Uh, our estimated time of arrival, uh, are we going to get there whenever we get there? As for the local time, ask a local what time it is. <laughs> be careful when opening the overhead pins as items might be larger than they seem. <laughs> so yeah. You know, who, you know who's like you on planes and never freaks out? Kids. They never freak out, children. Right? But uh, I wish I could be a kid again, you know? You know, when you grow up, a lot of things change, you know? When you're a little kid, if... Uh, if your fly was open, that was the end of it, you know? <laughs> you know that, was, that was the end of it, right? Your social life, <laughs> nothing. You know, you grow up, somebody tells you, your fly is open. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a nice breeze. <laughs> and I see I attracted an audience, all right, that's cool. You know? When you're a little kid, you bought ice cream, you ate it, you enjoyed it. You're a guy, you grow up, you buy ice cream for girls, watch them eat it, enjoy it. One more thing, when you were a little kid, you loved going to Hungry Bunny, right? Hungry Bunny! You, know? you grow up, you realize something. Hmm. Hungry Bunny is a bunny that likes to eat hamburgers. Oh my God, he's high. It makes sense. Right? 
right? Oh, Epiphany, right? Oh my God, is that? So, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. You know, I like I like performing in front of a crowd that knows stand-up kind of is cool. You know, I've performed in front of uh, you know crowds that weren't so funny boned in. But that's cool. You know, I'd be like, you know, your mama's so fast. I'm like, hey, let's kill my mommy. Okay, did I mention your mother? No. They don't get, uh, they don't get uh, sarcasm, you know. Man, this thing's in Jeddah, they break my heart. I know, tell me about it. Tell you about what exactly? I just told you. You know, irony to them is something that happens at the laundry. You know? I was, you got that, huh? <laughs> And they have no concept of self-criticism whatsoever. They're never wrong. You know, especially the older guys. The older the guy gets, the more right he is, right? You know, my grandpa, one time I found his phone in his shoe. It, you can't make this up, all right? I picked up the phone, I took it to him, I'm like, did you forget your phone in your shoe? He looks at it, he's like, I didn't forget it. I put it there. <laughs> what? Why? Because, uh, that is what I think of telecom companies in this country. Yeah. Give me that. But it's cool. It's cool. You know, doing, uh, I noticed like a lot of things also, you know, the older the guy gets, you know. I mean, like, here's the thing. They make people feel bad for certain jobs that they have, you know. No, I mean, come on. The guy's trying to make a living, right? He, Saudi guys working at Starbucks, you don't see them. They're hanging out the family section. <laughs> this is Grandi, like the Camry. <laughs> Some of them work in McDonald's, that's cool. You know, old, uh, an, older, an, o an older lady comes on, you know, she's at the drive-thru. <laughs> okay, excuse me? I want to have one hummungar. <laughs> Two French fry. One ice cream. Do you want to eat it? How so, dude? Mashallah, this is a place. This is your store, huh? No, I just work here. Oh, inshallah, Allah yirzikik, and you buy all of McDonald's, inshallah. <laughs> I ain't serious, dude. Oh. It's so, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. You know, doing stand-up comedy, you know, I've been getting a lot of, you know, attention, people following me on Twitter, you know, on Facebook and stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool, you know? You know, the whole social media thing. My mom was a little worried about the female attention. She's like, ah, you know, she does these things to get me, you know, she's trying to get me married off and she does these things, you know. She puts pictures of girls in magazines that she knows I'm going to read, you know, like Sabaya or Leha or something like that. She doesn't buy magazines at all, you know, she doesn't even read the newspaper. And I open them up and the picture falls out. <gasps> you cannot see, you cannot see, you cannot see. You want to see? Khalas <laughs> bad, you saw. Look, look, look. White, blonde, exactly like American. Look, her dad just died. Oh my God. What? You know? And it gets awkward going to public places with my mom too, because she's like on a prowl the whole time, right? I'm sitting there, I'm talking to her, a girl passes by, I just, you know, casually, be like, okay, you like her? <laughs> I know three girls look exactly like her. <laughs> like who's gonna marry someone because they look like somebody else? Do I get on the phone and like call 1-800-Khattaba or something and be like, hello? I want to make an order, please. I want to, uh, wait, wait, uh, one uh, Nancy Ajram, 
تو ليسا ون هيفا زياده واو ها اكسترا يس اند ون باملا اندرسون اكسترا فور امبورت نو بروبلم نو بروبلم اند هولد اون ابو محمد شتابي مزاجك المخيس ون شيرين بليز I'm going to help with that one. <laughs> but yeah. Enough talking about me. Let's talk about like recent news. You know, a lot of things have been happening, right? A lot of people are starting to get on Twitter, you know. Thank you, Al Jazeera. Thank you, Arabia, for glorifying Twitter. You know, I just finished <laughs> cleaning up my Facebook profile. Now my dad is on Twitter. <laughs> Why you follow girls? Hey. <laughs> Retweet me, please. <laughs> you know, Twitter's cool. It's a way to, you know, interact with the fans. And out of like 10, there's like one response. It's not so smart. Like uh, some guys like, كيف دخلت مجال الكوميديا؟ برجل يسار قلت اللهم نعوذ بك من خبث الخباث. خبرك كوميدي is dirty شوية. It's a way to practice. <laughs> but it's cool, you know, with recent events. You know, it's, I noticed something like, you know, I've been watching a lot of news channels and they all have like this news channel music and it all sounds like this. <laughs> you know, two kinds of people use that kind of music, news channels and superheroes, right? That's it. And news channel anchors that make everything sound important, you know. They're like, uh, Fallujah's now a blood donation center. Who cares? <laughs> and they can't do anything else. They can only be news anchors. They can't be anything else. They can't like work at a Chinese restaurant or something, you know? You get there, you're like, can I have the Kung Pao chicken and the Sprite, please? He goes into the kitchen, he comes back. <laughs> this just in. We are all out of Kung Pao chicken, Sichuan duck, and spring rolls. Tune in for more items on the menu. Doesn't work that way. But I've been using the recent events to my benefit, you know? You know, I told you, my mom always brings up the marriage question, right? So she comes in, she's like, I want you to taste this. And they don't care what you think of the food because you're going to eat it anyway, right? <laughs> so you go into the kitchen. She's like, here, taste. Okay. So now you're a comedian, laughing, everybody, you know? So what's your plans? You have plans in the future? Uh, make more people laugh? Good, good. You're not gonna settle down, you know, children, nothing, marriage. And this is when I say this, but I gotta leave the room right away after I say this, because, you know, she's gonna have a, some kind of a response to it. So I go like, you know, you're talking to me about marriage. And there's, there's, there's people out there fighting for their freedom. They're, they're dying, they're bleeding. And you're talking to me about marriage, finding a girl, bait, bait, dar, dar. Yeah, exactly, right? And then I leave, because if I don't, she's like, they're protesting because they're single. <laughs> All right, I'm getting close to my time, so I'll, I'll just finish with this, uh, with this joke. You know, I've been going to the gym. That's the joke right there. I've been going to the gym. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I've been going to the gym, and there's this thing about like gyms in the Middle East, especially in Saudi, that's so different than everywhere else, like in the UK or the US. We have this guy who um, like awkwardly goes around, you know, yelling out, Wash! Gamed! Ahsan! Aywa! Mush hagamed! And what haga! Aywa! Zid! 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 You know? And then he gets really uncomfortably close to you, and when he spots you, like you're doing bench presses, he's like, Aywa! Ahsan! Gamed! You know, you're not sure how you feel about him afterwards? get this like awkward feeling about the relationship with this coach, right? You come in the next day, you start getting jealous of other people he's spotting, you know? You're like, Co coach, can I, can I talk to you for a little bit? I mean, here's the thing. I, I mean, yesterday, I, I thought we had something special going, you know? And, you, and I see you today, you know, I'm not trying to be weird or anything, but you're spotting this guy, and you're spotting this guy, and you're spotting this guy, and I feel a little left out, okay? But I didn't leave the gym. I left after this. He comes to me, he's like, no problem, no problem. 
I notice you're not gaining much weight. I tell you what, come to me after closing hours. I ham fuchek. I will blow you up. And that's when I left the gym. Thank you guys. That is my time. I appreciate you. Wonderful audience. Thank you so much. Fahad Al Bateri. Thank you very much indeed, Fahad. Come and join us. Come and join us. All right. Fellow Aramcon of mine, Aramco employee. Yeah. What do you work as, uh, Fahad? What do you do? Uh, I'm a geophysicist. Ah. Yes, I deal with rocks now, people. Brains as well as looks, huh? Yeah. My God. Well, uh, how much you can pack into this small frame of yours, huh? Not much, really. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And I would say, uh, it's not an exaggeration to say that uh, since those, uh, just two years ago, you probably have been, uh, become the most commercially successful of the yeah. community. That's, and, and that's wonderful. You've, you're amongst apparently the top 10 followed people on Twitter. Yeah, number eight. Right. Number eight now. Saudi, wow. Yes. That's amazing. Top, top 10 in Saudi, yes. Really? I, I mean, I can't compete with Justin Bieber, right? <laughs> of course. Who can? Who can, right? right. I, I personally, I finally capitulated. I got myself a Twitter account. You know, I had so much pressure. But I really don't really get the difference between Facebook and Twitter because Facebook to me feels like you're in a big room and lots of people around. It's like a party. And, you know, you can, you can talk to this person, look at the photographs. But Twitter, it feels like I'm in like a dark room somewhere. I'm just going, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I just broke wind, wind, wind. Does anybody care, care, care? Then you get one lone voice coming back. It's not as social as Facebook. I mean, do you agree or is it? Well, is there something I'm not getting about Twitter? Um, I'm not getting it either, but it's working, so. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> you know? What are you doing that I'm not? Um, I talk a lot. Ah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the thing. If, uh, if a lot of people see that you got something to say, uh, I think they, they, they generally follow you. And, I guess so. you know, I'm too yeah. busy organizing comedy shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I lear if I learned one thing from Justin Bieber is to, to uh, try to cater to uh, teenage girls. So that worked ah, a lot. That's, that's how I got 10,000 followers. Right? <laughs> follow me. <laughs> I, I, I think it's true to say that you're going to break a lot of hearts when you finally get married, huh? Yeah. Is that true, girls? Yes. No, so. well, that wasn't as enthusiastic. No, as I thought no, it not awkward at all. Which is good, it's, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Well, listen, uh, Fahad, we're going, coming to time where we need to okay. close up the show. And it's always a pleasure and an honor to have you on stage. Did you enjoy Fahad Al-Batari? Thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed.